Yo, what's going on everybody? My name's Slender, and today we're gonna be talking about some new changes to the crafting that is on the PTR so far as of today. And it is June 15th, how are you guys doing? So we got a couple big changes. Um, one is the ultimate crafting trophy or the ultimate trophies in general. We're gonna go over that and are gonna clear up some miscommunications because some of my friends told me that they watched a video here or there and uh, got me really excited about this stuff, but it's not all that it was cracked up to be as, you know, from what I was told about, from what I was told about. So, um, and the other thing that we're gonna talk about is this new artisan gear. Um, some people call it artesian, I guess, but I'm pretty sure it's artisan. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about that too. So first of all, let's take a look at the ultimate crafting trophy. So what is an ultimate trophy? Well, basically there is an ultimate crafting trophy, an ultimate gathering trophy, and an ultimate combat trophy. They each cost 100,000 faction tokens and 45,000 gold. And you can get these from your faction vendor. And you have to be at max rep to get it. Once you save up all the tokens and all the money, you grab the recipe from the faction vendor. And all you do is take it over to the workshop. It opens up a new recipe called the ultimate either crafting, combat, or gathering trophy. In this video, I'm making the crafting ultimate trophy. And this is going to require all five major crafting trophies. Trophies. And that is all you need to craft this ultimate trophy. All five majors plus the recipe you get from the faction vendor. Now what I heard through the grapevine is not only will this open up space in your houses for additional trophies and you know save a lot of time from swapping trophies out and swapping trophies in because it is you, because you're going to have all these trophies in one but somebody told me or multiple people told me that it will actually give you an additional bonus such as plus seven to your minimum gear score instead of the regular plus five to your minimum gear score or with the combat ultimate trophy instead of giving you plus five additional damage to let's say corrupted it would give you plus seven additional damage to corrupted but that is just not the case and i was so bummed out so if you want to save up the tokens and you want to spend 45,000 of your hard earned gold to save some trophy slots and just make things a little bit easier as far as organizing your different trophies go, then it's totally worth it. But that is all it does is just that. You get no additional bonus. Now I took it one step further. I bought all three ultimate crafting trophies just to see if maybe once you have all three of them, you can craft like a maybe a master master trophy or once you have all three you get an extra bonus to your minimum gear score but you don't you just save a lot of space now let's talk about this artisan gear where did it come from i don't remember reading about this in the patch notes they are bop guaranteed 600 pieces of gear that are available at all the different crafting stations um, again they are not boe so you cannot sell these they are not legendary they are just 600 they come with they're basically pretty decent two perkers where you cannot pick the stats or the perks you get what you get the only stipulation is you need to have at least an outfitting station tier two and you have to have your crafting skill to 200. so these are the three rings that you can get from the jewel crafters refreshing keen awareness refreshing sacred and then leeching and hardy and then you can also craft a satchel or a bag that has azoth attune lasting consumption and luck so you can get a pretty decent you know 600 bag with uh with luck they just don't have extra pockets which kind of sucks at the forge you can get a great axe with insatiable gravity well enchanted the great sword has leaching crosscut enchanted the hatchet has refreshing torrent enchanted long sword keen and empowering leaping strike the rapier has leeching flurry and enchanted the spear has keen vault kick i guess they all have enchanted and the warhammer has leeching path of destiny and then you've also got three different shields the kite the round and the tower uh keen life stealing enchanted uh keen and vicious enchanted and fortifying shield rush and sturdy at the workshop and again these all have enchanted you've got the uh, blunderbuss with leeching shrapnel blast the bow has refreshing penetrating shot and the musket has refreshing power shot and then these tools are actually pretty nice uh, the fishing pole comes with fresh water lucky day lucky night saltwater brawn and then the gathering tools have alacrity yield luck and discipline
So those are actually pretty nice and they're not too expensive, like at all. And then at the Arcane Repository, these all have Enchanted as well. So you've got Empowering Fireball for the Fire Staff, uh, Pylon Burst for the Ice Gauntlet, the Life Staff, you have Bless and Fortifying Sacred Ground, and then the Void Gauntlet, you've got Refreshing Rupture. And then you can even cook some artisan stuff. You've got roasted rabbit and you've got artisan's flatbread. Let's go ahead and craft these really quick. Now there is a um, kind of a discrepancy with the tooltip and what actually shows on the buff bar. It says the 40 cons only for 40 minutes, but on the actual buff bar, it shows an hour. And the flatbread, the tooltip says 220 health per second for 20 seconds, but it actually shows 40 seconds when you actually use it. Um, and again, these are not buying on equip. You cannot sell these, they are BOP, but they are pretty cool recipes. And I guess I'll go ahead and craft some of these weapons just to show you guys uh, what they look like. So that's going to do it for this video, folks. I know there's other videos on this stuff, but you know, I like to do my own anyway. It is what it is. And uh, they've got some new gear from the faction vendor, and they've also got some new patterns that are popping up in all the chests all over Eternum. Patterns that you can actually craft, and I'm going to be working on that video next. Like the majestic pants, minstrel boots, some lacy stuff. Um, so we'll dive into that again in the next video. So if you guys want to see more, don't forget, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Just something in the